What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. This month is spooky season, so coming to you guys this week with a brand new style video. Whether you're attending parties or staying at home and you just wanna doll up a little bit and take some cute pics for the gram, I got you covered. So if you're interested in seeing this video of me as Sandra D from Greece, please keep watching and as always don't forget to turn on the notification bell button to be the first to know when a brand new video is posted and if you're listening to my podcast let me know in the comment section below so I can give you a shout out at the beginning of my videos. I appreciate all your guys' love and support. Now when it comes to my leather lookbooks I do have a Patreon which I will link below and I have also posted into my community chat as well that all my all exclusive and extra footage, especially from leather outfits, will be on my Patreon. So thank you to those who are already supporting and who are already getting in on that. Without further ado, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you greatly. And I hope you like my latest Halloween look. <laughs> Bye guys. Starting out with a fresh face and pin curls, I decided not to film me curling my hair as it is the same routine I've been doing for a while now and have a previous vid on which I'll link either below or at the end of the video. It's basically just securing your curls with bobby pins to make the curls last longer. Next, after a certain amount of time, we take out the bobby pins. I tend to do this as my very last step, but decided to show you guys ahead of time. I also recommend the longer the better if you're like me and you have hair that does not want to hold a curl for that long. I do use Herbal Essence Hairspray. And if you're looking for extra footage from this look, it will be on my Patreon and also TikTok. After the pins are all out, we shake our hair and the best part, which is wringing out the curls and brushing through with our fingers. Now, I'm no hair expert, but this does give us more loose curls and makes the hair have more volume, in my opinion. And for this particular look that we're going for, I do think in this case, the bigger the better. I've always wanted to be Sandy for Halloween in years passing, but thought I wouldn't do it as much justice because I wasn't blonde, but well, I guess it all works out now. <laughs> yeah. We can't forget the red lip. The lipstick I'm using is in the color Ladybug by MAC, and I think it's the perfect bold red lip shade. Here's another look at the makeup and hair. I did not film my makeup as it is my go-to routine besides the red lipstick, but I do have a video that I've done on it previously. My leather jacket is from XLE The Label by Lauren Elizabeth. I think it is the Lauren Biker jacket if I'm not mistaken, but I will have it linked below for you guys. My high waist leather pants are from Shopo. I've had these for a while now and the quality is amazing and are a really great go-to pair. Please do not mind my dancing. I was really getting into the groove listening to the Grease soundtrack. So here's the look all together. My checkered gingham red heels are from Charlotte Russe. Super cute and comfy. So what I did with the leather jacket is I zipped it up less than halfway and made it into an off-shoulder look instead of the normal way of wearing it. Grease is one of those classic movies and the scene where Sandy turns into her alter ego is one of the most iconic scenes in movie history. She went total baddie mode and will forever be remembered that way. I figured why not put together a modern day Sandy outfit slash costume as it is an easy last minute Halloween idea and definitely is a hit no matter what year. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these Halloween outfit series as I am. This was so fun to film and had me smiling the whole way through so thank you for giving me the opportunity to express myself and creativity on here as I do.
about it.